Um, next thing I want to talk about is the basic button creation, which is what you'll be doing most of if you're building a vocabulary for someone. So I'm actually going to go into basic communication since it's easier to work with. And if you tap on the pencil tool at the, at the bottom, you'll see the very first option on the left is the add button option. And the difference between the button and the action, the first two on the top row on the left, then action you won't use as much because it's things like clear the message window or other things like that. I will talk about it after the buttons. But the buttons is what you'll use. So when in doubt, make a button. So you press add button. And here's where you put in the text to speak. So let's just say I wanted to add the button pickle. And it comes up with already a picture that's preloaded. And it's got all types of pictures. Yesterday I found out that it has some animal part called a marmot. I'm not sure what that is, but in case you want it to say marmot, it has to promote it. But we're just going to make some kind of button. Yeah, they're, they're like a project in a raccoon or something like that up in uh, the Rockies. Up in Canada. Learn <laughs> something new every day. So we got pickle. And then here at the bottom where it says button properties, the thing, the only thing you really have to worry about here is you want to pick a word kind. Because the other things you'll probably go back and change later if you want to change them. And you can change them in a group as opposed to individual buttons. And I'm going to talk about that also. So the pickle is a noun. So I'm going to select that. And it's important to choose that because you can sometimes set nouns to be a certain color or a certain order if that's important to you. So you'll notice it'll create the pickle. But the issue is that I put it on this front page, so you have to scroll, and you might not know that there's a button down here. So I'm going to talk about moving things to primary and secondary later. But when you create a button, you probably want to be in the folder that you're going to have that button in. So if you were going to create the pickle button, you would first want to go into food, food. and then tap the pencil button, because then that button will show up in whatever folder that you're currently in. And that's where it takes me to deleting buttons, since I don't really want pickle on the home page, and that's, that's something that's vital to their communication, which it probably isn't. So again, I'm going to want to have this pencil tool at the bottom. And then I showed you earlier that if you tap on a button while the pencil tool is open, you get the blue check mark, and that's how you know that you're editing that button. So you want to tap the pickle button, for example. And you can just press delete here, which is the red trash mark. And it'll ask you if you want to permanently delete it or move it to storage. And you you probably always want to permanently delete something unless you know that you're going to want to bring it back at a later date and you don't want to have to recreate it. But as you saw, it doesn't really take that much time to create a button. So it's probably just easier to always permanently delete off of the vocabulary. So are there any questions on button? So if I had if we had wanted to do pickle, we sh if we had opened up the food file first and then gone mm -hmm. into it, then it would have gone into food? Yes. I'll actually just do that real quick. So we're in food. I want to tap on the pencil tool, mm -hmm. add button, we're going to type pickle. Um, and it'll just show up in the yeah. text section. If you get inadvertently put it on the front page or home page, Wanted to move it so delete it, recreate it, can you do that too? Yes. If I put this, and yeah, I'm going to talk about that. If you want to drag buttons, you can always, oh wow, it's got to be But you can swap mm -hmm. buttons, which is if you tap on this pencil tool again, pencil tool is really where you go to do everything, and you tap on the pickle, and you go back to your home page. If you wanted to swap it with something, let's say you accidentally put buttons on the wrong pages, if you wanted I need a break to be in the food section, you can swap those between food. Mm -hmm.
I'm not sure that's not the new one. Oh, sorry, I wasn't in the pencil tool. If you're in the pencil tool and you tap on a button and you hold, you hold down the tap, if you wait until it's pulsing, then you can move buttons in the period. But it's, it's kind of difficult to move between, between sections. You can move it between sections within a folder by moving to primary and moving to secondary. But I think if you're, if you're in the food folder and you try to move this, move to primary, this button right here, which is it'll move it so that you can there'll be a more button on the bottom, but I don't think that will move it to the original home page. So you probably just want to delete it and recreate the menu. See, it won't do anything. But this is a good place to talk about moving things to the secondary. Like let's say for food, I sometimes talk about eating a pickle, but I don't. That's not like a food that I eat all the time. I can just press move to secondary, and you see it won't grab this first page. And if you press more, more. Then it'll be people here, and that's sometimes helpful if yeah. they get overwhelmed by a lot of different buttons on the same page. Yeah. Those are good questions. More questions about, about creation. All right.